ISTQB Foundation Level, question 276. Let the branch coverage metric be defined as BCO equals X divided by Y multiples 100%. What do X and Y represent in this formula? A. X equals number of decision outcomes exercised by the test cases. Y equals total number of decision outcomes in the call. B. X equals number of conditional branches exercised by the test cases. Y equals total number of branches in the call. C. X equals number of branches exercised by the test cases. Y equals total number of branches in the call. D. X equals number of conditional branches exercised by the test cases. Y equals total number of decision outcomes in the call. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed in changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ICQB questions on a regular basis. Branch testing is a white box test technique in which the coverage items are branches. A branch is a transfer of control between two nodes in the control flow graph, which shows the possible sequences in which source code statements are executed in the test object. Each transfer of control can be either unconditional, i.e. straight line code, or conditional, i.e. a decision outcome. Coverage is measured as the number of branches exercised by the test cases divided by the total number of branches and is expressed as a percentage. Correct answer is C, because branch coverage is measured as the number of branches exercised by the test cases divided by the total number of branches and is expressed as a percentage, according to ISTQB syllabus. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer A is not correct, because a decision outcome is a conditional branch. For branch testing, X counts not only conditional, but also unconditional branches. Answer B is not correct, because branch coverage counts not only conditional, but also unconditional branches. Answer D is not correct, because both X and Y count only conditional branches and do not take into account the unconditional branches. My recommendation, please remember branch coverage formula to pass STFL exam. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 4.3.2 branch testing and branch coverage in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see that coverage is measured as the number of branches exercised by the test cases divided by the total number of branches and is expressed as a percentage. This is fully consistent with the correct answer C. I sincerely believe that you are on the right way and won't miss such a unique opportunity to prepare for ISTQB Foundation level exam very thoroughly, 
thanks to my YouTube channel, questions. And never give up.